Guys, for installing the Prime OS, you guys have to search in Google Prime OS official website. And first link you guys will get download slash Prime OS. Or else you guys have to go to the Prime OS dot in slash download. As you guys can see the link. You guys have to go to this link and choose for the device. As you guys know that our device is PC, so that Android 86. You guys have to choose x86 option and version main in version only guys you guys have to choose it for your for your if you guys have old pc then you guys have to choose android 7 classic 86 x 86 and then here you guys have to select the type as iso and you guys have to click on download it so guys as i have already downloaded it so i am cancelling this download First, you guys have to go to that uh, download, guys. Download as download as part part. As you guys can see, this file, guys. This file, guys. For installation, you guys have to burn it to your pen drive, and for that, you need the software called Rufus, guys. The software, as you guys can see, I, you guys have to click here, and you guys have to download. By searching on Google, if you guys search on Google, it's a roof process. You guys will get this first link to download. You guys can download using this. And later open the software, guys. Wait a, wait a minute, guys. And you guys can and give administrative per, permissions. And as you guys can see, this has been opened, guys. And you guys have to choose a pen drive, guys, in which you guys want to burn this. And click on select, guys, the image. And you guys here have to choose whether you are, if you are guys using an old PC, means you guys have to choose MBR, guys, MBR partition. And then as you guys give, click on the start, it will, it will burn it in your pen drive, guys. Write in ISO, OK. As you guys can see that it, this is giving the warning guys that all data on this uh, device will be destroyed. As you guys click on OK, the entire this uh, image will get burnt into your pen drive guys. But before burning it, you guys have to take the backup of your data guys. Hey guys, now as you guys can see, I, okay. after you guys connect the pen drive and boot it, you guys will see a, a kind, this kind of screen guys. But the screen is similar in both and Android x86 and, and Prime OS, the screen is similar guys. There is no difference in it. But you, most of you guys might be wondering why I didn't show the bio screen. It's because bio screen is a very different in different devices guys and, uh, and the key is also different guys. That's the reason guys. Now, now if you guys have a second hard disk without any data, then you guys have to click on advanced option and you guys have to click on auto installation guys. As you guys can see it's loading, until it loads I am passing my recording guys. Guys as you guys can see it has been loaded guys, but one thing you guys have to note that in that thing. The hard disk which your guys are gonna choose now guys, it has to be empty guys. It shouldn't be having any storage guys. Like for example if it's having any data means you guys have to back it up. And you guys have to give auto install. And now ok guys. Install it. As you guys can see it's the warning sign is given guys in it. Yes. And you guys have to click on yes guys. And like, and like this it will install it guys. First it will format. As you guys can see the formatting has been completed. And now the process of writing has been started guys. As you guys can see. Let it try, uh, let it write guys after some time. For some, until it writes guys I am passing my recording. As you guys can see the process is going to complete guys now. As you guys can see, I now it's syncing to the disk, guys. I 
Now the OS is syncing to the pen drive. As you guys can see the Prime OS has been installed successfully. Now you guys have to reboot and check guys whether it works or not. But before rebooting guys, let's unplug I am unplugging the pen drive guys. Unplug the bootable pen drive. Unplug the bootable pen drive guys. Now let us reboot and check whether it works or not. Guys, before rebooting, you guys have to choose the choose the disk in which you have installed Prime OS. Now let us load the Prime OS and see, guys, how it is. Uh, now it's booting, guys. The Prime OS is. As you guys can see, now it's booting up. Finally, it has booted up, guys. As you guys can see, the Prime OS has been booted up. Now you guys have to enter your, all your details guys to activate this. As you guys can see, I have entered all my details here. Now you guys have to click on the next button. As you guys can see the Prime OS has been loaded. But one issue with this but one issue is with Prime OS is that it runs Android 7 guys, the Prime OS. Not the modern Android, it runs Android 7. So you guys can run the games or apps which only which could run in Android 7 guys, hardly. And if you guys install Android X86 guys, it it runs Android 9 guys, but most of you might be wondering why I have installed Prime OS. It's because the guys Android X86 has some limitations guys. Like for example, you guys you guys have to use Wi-Fi for connecting it because LAN won't work for it. If you guys if you guys like this video and comment me to make comment me, I will make a detailed review on Android X86 OS also guys. If you want, if you guys want. 